Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I created these chocolate cherry blossom flowers. They're made with Wilton candy melts using a few simple steps. I started off by printing a blossom petal template that I created. The link to this template is in the description box. I'm using a transparent copy sheet as a surface to pipe my chocolate onto. You can use wax paper too, but this will give a shiny surface to the petals. I lay this over my printed petals and cut both of them into a strip. To create the shape of the petals, I'm using an empty paper towel roll. I first stick my paper down onto the cardboard roll. Then using masking tape, I then stick the transparent paper over the printed sheet. I'm using rose candy melts for the petals, which I melted and then added to my piping bag. To keep my cardboard roll from rolling during application and drying time, I use two knives which I place inside the cardboard as weights. I have my piping bag ready and trim off a small tip around 3mm and test it out on a napkin. I carefully follow the design and the outline of the petal with the chocolate and then fill it in. The consistency is fairly thick so it doesn't drip. I continue to do this with all of them. Each flower will consist of five petals. The surface that is visible will be the back of the petal and will not be seen, so any bumps or unevenness will be hidden. Once this was done, I allowed it to dry. The next step was to create the base on which the petals will be stuck to. These are just two inch circles that I printed. I covered this with the transparent sheet too. Using white melted chocolate, I spoon a few teaspoons over the circle, then using a toothpick, I spread it into the circle shape. I then allowed these to dry. Once my petals were set up and ready, I gently peeled away the masking tape from one side of the transparent sheet. And then gently peeled away the plastic from the petal. They come off fairly easily, but I would suggest having some extra on hand just in case for breakage. Piping onto the plastic sheet leaves the petals with a smooth and glossy finish. I did the same thing with the white chocolate circles too. The next step is to assemble the flower using white chocolate. I piped a small amount onto the back of the petal and then gently pressed it into the white base. I held it in place for a few seconds until it was set. I then continued to do this with the other petals too. The base is a nice feature but also adds strength to the flower and makes it easier to handle and use. Then using light cocoa chocolate I added piping details and dots. These added details would help create the cherry blossom look. I then added more with white chocolate too. The final touch was to add some white and gold sprinkles to the centre. And this is the final result. The shape of the petals really bring more character to the flower and the white base holds everything in place. This can easily be used on the surface of a cake and the size can be altered to suit you. Check out my Pinterest page for the template. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.